what's going on guys uh, welcome back to another video today we're gonna be doing something uh, interesting um, lately I've been doing a bunch of videos that have to do with um, testing out eBay parts and super super cheap things in your car um, that do the same as let's say something worth of $200 and we're gonna continue that today so a while back I ordered and installed uh, I have a I'm gonna put the video right up here um, it's the charge pipe that, that says Cobb on it. So basically I bought a sticker, slapped a sticker of Cobb on there because I think it looks cool. Put it on the, the car and uh, to this day it's been a month or more now. Everything works totally fine and it's made of aluminum, has all the same fittings, fits perfectly. So that's on my car right now. Um, what I ordered and what I, what I said in that video is that I would order an oil catch cat. Now I was on the website, I was looking around, what's the best catch cat for your car or whatever. Now my, my engine here in my 335 is an N55 engine. So uh, what I want to do is I wanted to, now that I'm at about 75,000 kilometers, whatever, I wanted to put an oil catch cat to prevent all the uh, the oil vapors from contaminating my intercooler, the new charge pipe that I bought and installed and I just want to eliminate as much as I can that extra bad oil that's gonna go back into my engine. So I went on Amazon and I found this amazing deal that I'm linking down below. So I got this um, tube that I'm gonna use to connect everything. This is one meter long and this was about 20 bucks, this tube. But then, why you, cl you probably clicked this video is that I ordered in this box here, I think it's called a uh, horse racing, I forget what it's called. Basically, it comes with some brackets here. And packaged up in here, I have the actual oil catch can. So this is what it looks like. Inside, uh, the, this these sizes are, I think it's uh, 19 or whatever it is. Uh, I have one big baffle here on top of another one that's higher up there. I know you can't see right now, but anyways, uh, this is the oil catch cam, whatever. I think it's uh, 400 uh, milliliters that this thing holds. Now, uh, I'm doing this primarily for one reason. Now, the oil catch can is a very critical thing to get for your car if it is directly injected uh, to the engine and uh, more so if you have like a boosted car like obviously mine it's a 955 it has a twin scroll turbo even if you're supercharged or even if you just a regular car like that it's something that's should be done to your car um, the increased power creates more oil vapors and all that could be trapped inside your um, engine since it's pressurized obviously and it creates carbon buildup in your pistons, your valves and it might even get blow a, I don't know, a seal or something on your car. My particular car has an F55 engine, as I've said a hundred times in the video so far, which is a GDI engine, which is um, a gasoline direct injection engine. The fuel injectors shoot the fuel uh, directly into the combustion chamber and not on the valves. But for this particular GDI uh, engine it's good because it increases the power the fuel economy better emissions whatever um, however it's very bad because unlike the MPFI which is the multi-port uh, fuel injection um, this one in particular cleans uh, the valves better and it all that stuff because it shoots directly on top of the valves uh, so that gasoline obviously um, cleans it up as the car is running. It leaves a bunch of guck and carbon buildup uh, on top of the valves, making some people go and do walnut blasting and uh, clean the internals of the car because it's just that corroded with carbon buildup and all the blow-by oil that uh, goes into the engine. So today I'll be installing an oil catch can that I got from eBay, uh, which literally does the same thing as other cash cans that are valued up to $500 and more um, but one thing I want to get into before I start this video is that there's different kinds of oil cash cans now which one's right for you it depends on it could depend on your budget it could depend on the car that you have but typically 
there's two different ways to go about it. Uh, so vented versus non-vented. Within the engine itself, it acts like a vacuum, so it could suck up air. And uh, if you leave that, I guess, filter on the top, you're just gonna hear a hissing sound. Some so so some cars might need to use that filter. Some might need it to be closed so that there's a vacuum seal within the engine. Now what I said earlier, inside the actual top piece of this, there's these baffles. Now, the more baffles you have, the thicker those baffles are, the more it's going to filter out the, the good versus the bad air that, that's gonna circulate in your engine. Other things that you might look be looking into is, do I get a dipstick, do I get a clear tube? Uh, the dipstick is cool because you don't. That means you don't have to unscrew it from um, from where it is in the car. You could just use the dipstick and see it. That would have been good, but then that wouldn't have fit my twenty dollar budget that I was looking for for this particular install. You could also do the clear tube to see uh, the oil level that's inside the catch can. So it would have been like let's say here, and you know there's a tube that connects here to here. Depending on everything you get, honestly, it's all the same shit. I went with this because it's the cheapest and I wanted to try it out so let's just start this install. Alright so, so for starters I uh, backed my car up into the garage here so I have plenty of room to uh, work with. Um, so basically where, where I'm going to want to mount it is like right here um, or somewhere around here because I know that the PVC that we're connecting it to is going to be right under this. So let's begin by removing this. So, just gently just move it like so. Basically, we're, what we're going to be looking at is this right here. So, this is the PVC. This is where it comes out of the engine. And this is where it will be put back into the uh, intake. So, what, what that means is that on this, that means we're going to have to be plugging in the hot side that comes out of the engine into here. So that it could come out through here and the, so that it, within the uh, can it's going to be sucked in through these baffles back out of this and then the tube that's, that's going to be connected to this side is going to be going into the uh, intake so that uh, the, these baffles here can uh, I guess take care of all that extra oil. it helps all right so off camera because it took so long I was finally able to take this out this is a bitch to take out because of all these uh, grooves that are on here of different elevation anyways this finally came off before I do anything at all I want to test up if these if the sizing of this new tube fits the OEM ones and if it could go in the same spot all right so as of right now <clears throat> I figured everything out. I know that this night size 19 tubing fits per uh, perfectly uh, inside the uh, outlet of the um, engine, and I know that this 19 fits perfectly on the sizing here of the hot side of the uh, intercooler. So I'm gonna mock everything up, cut everything to size, and then I'll catch right back up with you guys. A few inches later. Okay, so. This is where I am right now. I have the outlet into my inlet here, my outlet of this into my inlet up there. Here I put on a bracket. I uh, put the screws in through here and uh, this is all firmly, like it's not moving at all. I used the piece that came with the kit then I mounted it right here. I'm pretty sure that my hood should close. It's not that much of a uh, protruding gap here well it looks kind of stupid but I just want to test it out to see if I uh, could even go further with this if I need to make any cuts or anything at all as of right now I'm just gonna try it out and see what happens okay 
as of right now, everything seems fine. All I know 100% right now is that it cannot just stay like this with the, the loop uh, the way it is right now. Tomorrow. Since the last time you guys saw me, I had uh, a super long tube that went all around from here up to here. What I've done since then, I went to Canadian Tire and I got brass or copper or whatever uh, fittings. So this is a 45 and these are 290s up here. What I'm going to do, well obviously I'm still going to have to cut, so I'm going to cut a big hole here on the uh, engine cover. I was able to kind of shove this in there as far as I could. This is uh, pretty in there, in there pretty firmly right now. If I put the engine cover on here, I line this cap up with the hole. I can see that if I were to push it uh, this way to line to fit this engine cap back in its original place, I'd have to cut up this line here that I drew in pen so that this I could push over a little bit and that could come down to give myself enough space. I would cut up to about here and then cut down so that this entire hole is free. Day two. Alright guys, so this is day two. Uh, off camera I went ahead and really finished everything properly on the, the catch can install here. So I have everything set up like you saw yesterday. Off camera I added these two things to make it symmetrical so that it's easy to get to. Uh, if I need, let's say, a ratchet or something, just to get this off, it's right there, easily accessible. Over here, I opened, uh, I cut a huge hole, and what I did to, to seal it all off is I uh, took some electrical tape and uh, used it to make a contour around here so that the, pla the hard plastic wouldn't um, cut a hole in the tubes. And uh, honestly, this is it. This is the final product of the $20 oil catch can install on my N55 engine. So uh, as of right now, I think I'm gonna end, I'm gonna end it here. If you uh, enjoyed seeing this sketchy ass fucking video that I made with a $20 uh, oil catch can and a $20 uh, tube, uh, you know, tell me about it, I wanna hear it. Subscribe to the channel, cause I will be doing a second video to this video. Uh, just to go over everything, just to make sure, just to inform you guys that yes, you or no, you can't buy a $20 oil catch can and have it work. So without further ado guys, I want to leave it at that. I want to thank you so much for watching. If, if you made it this far in the video, drop a fire uh, emoji down in the comments down below. I want to see who actually watched all this way. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to always drive what drives you and I'll definitely be catching you guys in the next video. Peace.